Well, we are at Pluto's Cave. Yeah. And uh, it's quite an adventure just to get out here. Yeah. You think? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go dark again. Like, this road is like what you see in the movies when they take somebody out in the <laughs> desert to kill them. And you never and see they, them again. And to never be found. These are the kind of roads that they take you down. It is a sketch road because I we were going and the GPS was like, turn right. And I'm like... Are you sure? For real? Because <laughs> it's just a dirt, it's a one-way dirt path, it looks like, yeah. almost. I mean, it was just, just wide enough for the truck to get through. Barely. It's very rocky. It's not, you know, paved at all. Mm -mm. Um, if you have, like, a low-riding vehicle or a car. Oh, you'll bottom out. Yeah, you, and I'm glad we didn't ride the motorcycle out here today, because we would not oh, have no. gotten back here no. on the motorcycle. It's all we, sand. Because once you turn off the main road, yeah, it's all back. And um, so the Pluto's Cave is... What is it, a partially? It's a partially collapsed lava tube. So there were, is volcano activity out here. Mount Shasta so is still it's active. It's part of Mount Shasta, yeah. Yeah, so the lava tubes that you know ran through here however long ago, we'll, we'll try to find out some more information. But uh, you can actually go down inside these tubes, which are caves now. And Pluto's cave is one of the... It's one of yeah. many. There's like over 800 lava tubes. Yeah, but this is one of the main ones that people go to. Yes. Even though... There's nobody out here today. It has like, I think it's the largest opening okay. lava tube. That's why most people come to it. Yeah, which obviously provides more light, light better yeah. pictures, better fi uh, footage. So yeah. uh, we're going to go down there. And honestly, we're just happy to be out doing stuff, man. <laughs> yes. Because we've been so focused on running away from fires. Fires, changing and, our route. And yeah, I had to do, you know, cancel a bunch of reservations, yeah. remake new reservations. And then all the stuff with the motorcycle and the hitch and, the and all hitch the stuff didn't. we've been working on. Yeah. So we really, even though it looks like we're still on YouTube out exploring and stuff, because we space it out, we haven't done anything for a while, like two like or three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. going on three weeks. Yeah. So we're just happy to be out. Hopefully this is cool. Either way. We've got our hiking shoes. Yeah. We learn. <laughs> Slowly, but surely. <laughs> it looks like we're going to use these out here, though, for yes. real, this time. Yeah. Oh, they got rattlesnakes. This bothers me. I don't like it. And it's hot out today, so we certainly could see some. Yeah. Ooh, they got bats too. Yes, there's a lot of species of bats here. Okay. So we're here, I guess. Trailhead. Yeah. We have to go just, I guess, straight. Straight. Yeah. Straight down that trail that we just showed. Uh-huh. And then we'll get there. And then maybe we'll see some rattlesnakes. Maybe we'll see snakes, maybe we'll see bats. It's gonna be a fun filled day. <laughs> Like we're going the wrong way. I feel like we're just going right back to where we just were because it busted a U-turn and turned us back that direction. Now this might be it. Oh yeah, look at this. This is crazy. We found it. Yes. I'm excited that we found it. But I'm, I'm a little creeped out. <laughs> I'm a little terrified to go in. Because look, there's a couple reasons why. There's a couple reasons why. It's it's about I would say maybe half a mile from the truck. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. Not directly because it zigzags. It's a, yeah. The only way we were able to find because there's no signs. Once you leave that first sign, that's it. That's no signs. There's no more signs. I think the park systems would be better. Yeah, but we were able to find it because someone has tied little ties to some of the trees along the way right. to so kind of get tell you, you you're to on get the right you here. Path. Yeah. The other reason that it's creepy is because there's no one else here. Yeah, soul out here. And the third reason that it's really creepy is because there is zero cell coverage. Yeah. And so now you're in my head. 
<laughs> sorry. Because you're like, oh, this is like a murder movie. And this is where you take people and kill them in the desert. And I'm like, and always in the movies, there's no one else around. And you have no, no cell, cell coverage. coverage. You could scream, nobody hear you. Thanks. Sorry. Thanks. Thanks for that. Sorry. Okay. Cool. This is what we're doing? Yeah. <laughs> There's a bird's nest. That's a big bird. <laughs> he, he leaves his mark, that's for sure. That's a big bird. Yeah. That's not like a robin. <laughs> that's like an eagle or something. It's empty right now. Holy crap. I've identified the smell. What's the smell? That is cat urine. Think so? That is cat urine. Maybe there's feral cats living here, or feral other things. Might not or, be. Or, or a cougar, or Bobcat. a mountain lion. Why are you always going dark, man? <laughs> We're in the desert. You gotta be realistic, man. That is urine. It smells like a litter. We're standing in a litter box, is what we're doing. That's pretty much what we're doing. <laughs> We're in, a, in somebody's litter box right now. Thank you for identifying another fear. <laughs> Probably mountain lions, cougars, bobcats. Well, good news is they're not in here. They're probably out looking for food. So. Well, we should probably get the hell out of here before they come back. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. I'd like to climb up that. Take off. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the cave we just came out of and uh there's another i wouldn't call it a cave it's, a, yeah. it's like an underpass yeah it's like a tube yeah you tell, like that's where the yeah, lava used to flow it flowed there yeah uh, i don't know what's on the other side of that but we're gonna go through here and we're gonna explore that the rock is very impressive and spoiler alert if you're watching this we survived so far. <laughs> well, if they're watching it, I obviously got back safely, was able to edit it and upload it, so we're safe. <laughs> if you're watching this on the, on the news, it's bad. It's bad. It's very, very bad. <laughs> there's more. There's more? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I read there's like over 800 tubes throughout the area, so. Yeah, if you go over this hill over here. And there's another tube? I think there's another tube over there. Whoa. Yeah, no. You're out of your mind. We gotta get a little closer. I can't walk through that. It's like a little path through there. Oh, that's the path to death. Oh. This is the creepiest so far. Yeah. Because you gotta go down through here, through the bushes, and the bushes cause it to where you can't see what's can't inside see in that the cave. cave. <laughs> so, we're gonna go through the bushes. Why do you hate me? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go through the bushes and see what's in the cave. Uh, uh, you want me to go first? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Even the wind freaks you out. The wind is freaking me out because it's rustling those freaking leaves. Yep. And they're falling on the ground, and it sounds like something's sneaking up on you. <laughs> and, and it's making me turn around like every five seconds. <laughs> freaking me out. This is like nothing we've ever done before. No. So this is crazy. Yeah. We've been in caves, but it's always yeah. been like... Tour guided. Guided tour. Like we went in Colorado Springs, tour guided. They tell you all about it. This is... We are completely on our own. Yeah, nobody knows we're here. That's another scary point. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you trying to Sorry. scare me? <laughs> oh, it, it, it's crazy. It is crazy. Um, it's, it's beautiful. Spooky. Yeah, but you definitely always have that feeling. Yeah. That feeling in the pit of your stomach like, I need to get out of here. Yeah. Like it's always, it's, oh, it feels yeah. like it's telling you get the hell out of here. Yeah, like you know better. Yeah. Like, you've seen enough movies. You know better. What are you doing? I would be yelling at the screen right now, going, what are you doing, <laughs> idiot? Get out of there. And I don't like horror movies. I watch like this. Yeah. I'm like this the whole time. But, this is very hard for But me. the adventurous part of you wants to know. I am curious. What else is out yeah. there? And you can see light way down there at the end. Yeah, I'm not going down there, though. So you know there's a way out down there. Yeah. But you just don't know what's on the other side of well, it. Well, and you don't know what's all the way through there. Yeah, either. these are just lava rock. Just lava rock. Piles of lava rock. Lots of spider webs. So that means there's spiders. Yeah, and there's probably all kinds of critters in here. And mm -hmm. then we, the smell is in here again. There could yeah. be, you know, bobcats or mountain lions. I don't even know what is... is Indigenous here? Yeah, I don't know what's local here. So I don't know what's in there. Bad stuff, I'm sure. Ooh. It's just bad stuff. Yeah. <sighs> you can tell that... Kids come down here. Yeah, because of all the graffiti and they party, the fire pits. Yeah. Which I guess as a teenager, this is a kind of cool thing to do. Yeah, but... and then kind of safety in numbers too. Yeah. So you got 12, 15, mm -hmm. 20 kids out here. You feel safe. Yeah, because at first I was like, oh, look, we're the only car in the parking lot. We have the whole place to ourselves. And now it's kind of like, I don't have to like, kind of wish there were people here. Oh, look, <laughs> we're the only ones here. <sighs> we have the whole place to ourselves. Very interesting, though. Yeah. Man. It's it's impressive the amount of lava rock there is. Yeah, can you imagine what it was like when lava was just flowing, flowing through here? Through. Crazy. And this is it was hot. I mean, <laughs> if Mount Shasta ever does go off again. Lava can flow through here. Yeah, again. lava goes the path of least resistance like water. Yeah. And obviously this is one of those paths. Mm -hmm. Or was one of those paths. Yeah, I don't know where the paths are now, but yeah. because this is like sunken into the earth as it's going across the earth, it would just fall right down right into in. these holes and just go right through these tunnels, man. Yeah. All right. Creepy scale. Ten. God dang, that was fast. <laughs> I don't do good. I don't do good with scary stuff. I don't know. It was Sorry. quite a ten. It was because there was nothing that really spooked us. If we would have been out here at like almost sunset, yeah, that'd be more scary. That but would I mean, me there was stuff that caused us to spook ourselves because so. you had the little clicky well, grasshoppers, you had the leaves falling in the wind. An active imagination, was and scary. that too. <laughs> yeah, um, but that's our first real, you know, in the wild cave exploration. Yeah. Um, and we probably did a lot of things wrong. <laughs> I mean, we did learn uh, to bring our shoes, our hiking shoes, shoes and yes. water. We didn't bring a flashlight. Totally forgot the flash. But and, well, it was okay. I mean, really. Yeah. And had I known that, that I, I, I don't know why, I just assume stuff. But I assume you're in a park and there's a cave. You know? Yeah, I didn't I know, know that, that, like, so much distance would be between us and the cave and it's not well marked and no, you're in the, the middle of the desert well. and you have no cell reception and so we're out here in the middle of nowhere and like you said no one knows where we are yeah. so it probably would be a good idea if you do stuff like this to make sure that somebody knows where you're at <laughs> what time you plan to be home just in case something goes <laughs> south I mean probably a good idea yeah and not that they could do much about it but yeah. At least you'd have a fighting chance. <laughs> but that was fun, man. Was fun. That was funner than what I thought it was going to be. I thought we were just going to come out here, see a little cave, leave out of here. I didn't even know if it would be worthy of even putting uh, on a video, but I think that it's pretty cool. cool. Yeah, because it's like I had, didn't know what to expect when they say like a lava tube. You yeah. You know, like 
what does that mean really that until you see it it's impressive and to think yeah through those big massive openings lava flowed yeah I mean, and when you see pictures online you see pictures of people that have posted here but you can't get a a reference no a frame of scale. reference of scale of yeah. size because there wasn't anybody in there <laughs> in the pictures so you can't see the size of a person in relation to the cave so you don't know if it's like the cave that like a dog would fit in <laughs> or a cave that like a, a freaking uh tyrannosaurus rex would fit in you have no idea you know you could fit a t-rex inside that one it was huge you might take it out but it smelled like t-rex piss in there too <laughs> that was bad it was bad and that's the smell that gets up in your nose and you're like <laughs> yeah and you still can't get it out all day it's going to be in there so i'm gonna get some water i need some yeah, water, need water. So we're gonna drink and then we're gonna head back out of here and uh, hopefully we'll find something else in the white rica area yeah. uh since we got rerouted we weren't planning on going here so we didn't do a lot of research so we just kind of showed up here and trying to figure out what we're doing so we're winging it winging it <laughs> hope you're enjoying it too. but it's cool yeah. very cool on to the next thing all right well now we're at a sculpture park that you found a living memorial sculpture park very cool seems very patriotic yeah lots of flags everywhere and this is only about five miles from from the the lava tube from the lava tube yeah, yeah. so we're already out here in this area so, so we figure we might as well come check out about. the sculptures very interesting uh hopefully we'll learn some more about you know, who made them and the artist yeah. why and all that stuff yeah but um you know, one of the things i wanted to mention about the lava tubes that we didn't mention while we were there yeah. was nasa uses some of these lava tubes out here yeah to train mars training yeah with they, the robots yeah so it's kind of like the same surface Terrain. type yeah. uh, of Mars. So they Very use... Very rocky. Yeah, they practice with their little rovers and stuff out yeah. here. So that Very would be cool to see. They weren't out here, but no. there's, like you said, there's like 800 something tubes, tubes out of here. So yeah. they're probably using the ones that people don't frequent a lot or that were designated were by the government to yeah. say, hey, you can go yeah, screw around out here and no problem. But hey, let's go see some sculptures. Okay. All right. This one's my favorite so far. I know it is. It's <laughs> medical. Can you guess why? <laughs> you see a litter and you're like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, after being a, a medic in the army for 20 years, uh, this one, this one hits home. Um, yeah, it just, it brings back memories, good and bad. And bad. You know, good because I just really enjoy the job and bad because of, you know, stuff that happens in combat. But it's good that they are honoring uh, medical yeah. personnel out here interesting out here very interesting how it's laid out these little walkways to art sculptures yeah it's very cool glad i found this yeah it's a good <laughs> thing you googled things to do near the lava tubes <laughs> <laughs> Well, we would have liked to have done more around yeah. here. You're so smoky, man. Very smoky. Past couple of days, a lot of ash in there. 
Yeah, we don't mind if it's a little smoky, but when it's that smoky and you're outside, the air quality's poor, right. you can actually smell the smoke. Yeah. So we it's were only able healthy to be out in it. Yeah, we were only able to go out to that, you know. That brief bit. moment of a clear day. Yeah. Or clearish day. But it was cool, we got to see the caves and we yeah. got to see the sculptures. Yeah. Which was a very cool sculpture park. Very um, unique. We weren't able to do any motorcycle riding here. No. It's just it's just so smoky and, and air quality is just so bad yeah that we we don't need to be out inhaling it for eight hours which stinks because you know i was looking up before we got here to see if there was good, good riding ride. there is good riding around here yeah. road wise we're, well we're heading further south so yeah. we should get a little bit clearer of a uh, air quality yeah we are we're heading south so uh hopefully it'll clear up i hope so and uh maybe not the this next stop but stop after that okay. even further south and right now all the fires are in Northern California. Uh -huh. And generally speaking, the wind doesn't blow south. Yeah. So <laughs> we should be okay down south of the fires, as long as we don't get fires that are gonna start down Below in up. Southern California. <laughs> so fingers crossed, hopefully it'll get better and hopefully we'll get to do some riding yes. and some more exploring. Um, because, uh, man, I just feel like we haven't been out that much. I know, it's been weird. Yeah. Being stuck inside. So we gotta get back out there. Uh -huh. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed <laughs> hanging out with us at the caves and at the sculpture park. Mm -hmm. And like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help vets, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Uh, we appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.